Hello everybody, welcome to the Hobby Streakers, my name is JG and today we're gonna do a quick uh, tutorial on how to make 2D art for your wall. Um, so, I am using Fusion 360 and there are two options that you can use, DXF or SVG or the two file format that you can import. So, First, what you want to do is go on Safari for example, or whatever browser you're using and do a Google search. You see this one I put Lion DXF and then you will find a bunch of things that you can get. Now, what you might want to do is get something like this which is free DXF and so you might want to download that. Now, something like this will work because it is a continuous connection now something like this like this uh, this file will not work you have those parts that are gonna be by themselves not connected to anything yes you can print them on your printer but then that means you need to reassemble and there's a lot of pieces that are completely disconnected and so that's gonna be an issue so you do not want to use something like this you want to use something uh, pretty straightforward like this which is all connected this one is also all connected as you can see here and here uh, so those two pieces will be connected they might be a little bit fragile but you know so that's something that you might want to get now you can get them in dxf which is that file or you can get them in svg so for example this one i've put the mandalorian svg so now you have something like this which you can see there is a watermark on it but then you go here and you see that there is free dxf so you might want to visit that website now i tried using for this one if you go down uh, you will get your I mean, it. You will get the different files. I tried the SVG is actually not working. It looks like uh, there is uh, some place where it's actually disconnected, so it does not work properly. But you can download the DXF and you download this, and that's pretty straightforward. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blah, blah, blah. And so this is what you're gonna get now. If you have a PNG or a file like this, then what you might want to do is convert it. And so there are SVG converter online that are pretty very simple. Uh, SVG, you see inline SVG image converter. And so convert image to the SVG format. You just drop it in here click start and it will give you your uh, SVG file what you want for an SVG file is black and white and again you want all the lines to be connected so now we go into fusion and we are going to insert the DXF that we just got so it's asking you to select a plane so we're gonna select that plane select the DXF and so we're gonna see the Mandalorian figure DXF and that's it so it's gonna take a little bit of time because my computer is not so great here we go so now you have your drawing inserted just click OK and now you will have your sketch is done so once you have this then all you have to do is extrude and you need to select here we go and this is how you can tell if it is all connected because you can see that there is no line that is showing that is not connected so this one is great I like to have three millimeter thickness here we go three millimeter and you're pretty much done so now you have your Mandalorian 
2D art. Uh, in Fusion, what you want to do is save as mesh, do an STL binary, refinement doesn't really matter, and then I import it into Cura. And once it's in Cura, then here we go. Well, so I was lucky that man, this is like just the perfect size. Now, if it was too big or too small, what you want to do is scale it. Now, if I scale it 80%, for example, then the problem is my Z is also going to be lower. Now, it does not matter as long as you have like, I would say around 2.5. But what you would want, maybe want to do is switch off the universe from scaling, put this back to 3, and now you have your thickness that is again 3. Now, depending on your printer, there is a couple of things that you can do. If, you're, if your printer is really dialed in and you can get a top layer that is really good uh, quality, then what you can do is go in here and do ironing and enable ironing. And that will smooth out the top layer. And I would mean that you will have less possible post-processing um, if like me uh, your printer I mean I need to I need to clean the nozzle and there's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do so now what I'm usually my best layer and my best side is actually the one that's on the plate now if I print and I rotate this then when when I remove it and I want to use the face that's on the plate it's gonna be mirrored so what I like to do is go into rotation and then rotate this so that it's mirrored. And so now when I'm going to print it and I'm going to flip it to have the side that is on the plate to show, to be the one that's actually showing towards me or out of the wall, then it's going to be reversed and the right way because this is the way yeah pun intended anyways <laughs> so once you have this I mean I leave it at pretty much default for my printer and, and again your printer may vary uh, so when it's like this I actually do not use ironing because I know I'm gonna print it this way and yeah I usually leave it 20% for the for the infill is plenty if you can print it in the right color which honestly just print them black on a white wall it's perfect uh, then you don't even have to do anything I do not have black filament at the moment so I've been just printing them in white and spray painting them in black now, some of them I had to actually sand, and some of them I had to uh, spray with a primer, uh, primer filler, sand them, and then prime them black because I had too many bumps and stuff like this. So again, um, you might not come up with a perfect print right away, but if your printer is dialed in enough, then you should be fine. Now be careful when you print at places like here, those, um, you need a really good bed, bed adhesion. And especially like you see like here, that little piece is going to be super, super, super thin. And you know, like, so you need to be careful when you remove it from the bed and when you actually, uh, when you're putting those when you're sending and th things like this but yeah um so that's it i mean six hours 17 minutes again 35 grams of it's not that much uh we can see in the preview so there's yeah you see there's a layer where it's at 
there's an infill, but yeah, it's just because you want that little bit of, uh, of like you don't want it to be too flat against the wall. Yes, it's 2D, but you still want a little bit of um, thickness to to the piece on the wall. All right, well, that's it. Then you run your print and you're good to go. And so yeah, uh, hope you like it. Again very different depending on you know like uh, the kind of IP that you want you'll find some D <sighs> try to find DXF for free or SVG so like I can go back to this one let me uh, get rid of that and I can import an SVG that I had from before um, let's see that's here we go that's a shark so you want to do this one here we go now that shark is super small so what you want to do is just increase the size and you go okay for the insert you go finish sketch once it's done importing there you go and it's the same principle you just want to do extrude, you select the bigger part, there we go, and now you have a shark. Um, again, three millimeter, just to have something, and then you have your 2D wall art. And that's with an SVG, so yeah. DXF, SVG, those are the two that you want, and then again, like, yeah, you can do some really cool stuff. Search for whatever you want, do not resell those, especially if you take a picture from the internet like I just did. I'm using those for myself. I'm not using those for anything else. I am not selling any of this. And you should do the same. Like You should not be selling any piece that you get off the internet. Now, if there is, if you find, okay, you see that this, this will be, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting to do this, but I'm actually going to show you something. And it's, you might want to go back and let's edit that sketch because, well, that is super thin. It might break. Uh, so what you can do is any of those drawings, like any of those, any of those you can actually go and just draw a little bit I don't know what that was but there we go so now I removed that super thin piece and I just made it a lot bigger it's not gonna change anything as far as the the thing is concerned but now you have a better connection here and you might want to take a look at some of those and be like okay this is gonna be too thin and you cannot same thing if you have a piece that's not connected you might want to connect it yourself uh i know that i've done it on a couple of uh files that i found that had a couple of pieces that were not properly connected and that would have been uh just not like this is all one piece when you click ex extrude it shows that if you click here it's all one piece so that's one big area now, if you don't have this, what you want to do is get connect the pieces that are not connected. Like if, it, if this was not connected, I could have just like connected it right away. Like right here, I could have connected this and be like, hey, now it's connected. If you're afraid of like here, you could connect it if, if you really wanted something a little bit stronger. Uh, but yeah, again, pretty straightforward. Do not use this commercially unless you have the specific instruction from the person who has ownership of that graphic, whatever it is, DXF, DFW, um, SVG or DXF, those two format, or even if it's a PNG, like if it's a, if it's a picture of someone that drew a picture and you want to turn it into a wall art, ask permission, if you want to commercialize it, you need to get licensing and everything from that person and authorization to use and, and distribute and probably pay for those. 
there's some out there um, that you can get clip arts and things like this not for free and you have some licenses to use and so on again please follow those instructions do not rip somebody's off somebody off all right here we go that's it for me hope you enjoyed it uh again I don't know, fusion seems to have decided not to work anymore but here we go this is your mandalorian it's ready to go it's ready to print and yeah you can uh, hang that on your wall all right talk to you later bye